morning everyone, so exciting times. Not for you. <laughs> I've just set this up for Barney. It's a little water table. This might be a disaster, but I think he's just gonna love this. And we need to get like a waterproof mat for underneath. Um, but yeah, let's go get him. What's this? Barney, look! What is it? <gasps> what do you think? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the floor is soaked. Great. <laughs> I thought he would just like have a. You did give him a shovel with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Do you like that? Whoa! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, I'll go get the mop. Barney, I love you. <laughs> Don't lick it. Don't drink it. <laughs> well, it's warm. Oh, it's living his best life. <laughs> Look at your hair, it's so cute. <gasps> um, let's not get in into the water tray. So, Barney and I are on our way to get him some shoes. He's definitely ready to start walking outside, so. Yeah, time for shoes. I'm so excited. So we're just gonna pop to Clark's and get his feet measured. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. Should we go and get you some shoes? What do you think? <laughs> wow! Say shoes! Shoes! This is exciting. <laughs> Where's your feet? So who have we got here then? This is Barney. Barney. Hello Barney. Barney, oh, Barney it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that Barney? Funny? There we go. Well, <laughs> done. Four and a half half on that one, Barney. Let's do this one. <laughs> is that <laughs> funny? Four and a half F. Well done. <laughs> Do you like those ones? They're for school. Do you like those ones? Pink. That's you. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Let's have a look. Wow, look at those. We like those brown ones, don't we? <laughs> what are we doing? That's shoes. Yeah. And the wet. Good job. Well done. Low flow. Oh. They look so nice. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> you can do it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Say funny. That's you. That's you in shoes. Do you want to go and say thank you to the lady for helping you? So Barney's got his shoe box. <laughs> Don't eat it! Oh, they look so nice! Yeah? So, absolutely gutting that I couldn't go with you guys, but uh, we were in the car park and, and Chip was in the car. He just was a bit stressed, so I decided to stay with him. 
And then he went to sleep. <laughs> like he was absolutely fine because I was there. Anyway, so. We've just dropped by me um, up at my mum's. And now we're gonna go on a date day. We haven't been to the cinema since I was pregnant. It was The Invisible Man. Oh the yeah, I was trying to think what it was it the was last the time. It was The Women or The Invisible Man. No, it was man. definitely The Invisible Man, you're right. Um, um, and yeah, so we were late then and we're late now. <laughs> no, we'll be fine. So my mum's having Barney and then we're going back for a Sunday lunch. Yes, basically perfect Sunday. Perfect. Um, I am so excited about Bond. I've managed to avoid all the spoilers I thrown about you. I didn't even know it was a new one. I hadn't even heard of it. Daniel Craig's last ever one. Is it? Yeah. This is it. He's hanging up the tuxedo. Ah, oh, well that'll be good then. Well, because it'll be a new Bond. Yeah, and it should be like a good finale. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so as ever. Oh, We're I my phone. cutting it very fine. I don't need it, do I? No, I think we'll be alright. Um, so yeah, <laughs> let's hope we haven't missed the beginning. I think we're currently 20 minutes late. Well, 20 minutes late for when the time sets, but then there's always like 20 minutes of trailers, which so Dave loves to watch, I know. and we never make them. We never make the trailers. Never ever make the trailers. We can't even claim the fact that we've got Barney now because we used to do it all the time you anyway. Guys have been with us a long time. We're always like, yeah. <laughs> right, here we go. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, it's there, there we go. There we go. Can we still go in? I think we can. Twelve forty-five. Yeah. Do fine. it. <laughs> so selection started twenty-three minutes ago. Fine. <laughs> so, we were unsuccessful. It said our card has been declined, which it definitely has not. It's that machine. We're going to speak to the man at the desk. The man, but I'm hoping now that by the time we got up here, it's like, no, you can't do it anymore. <laughs> like, we'll just adjust. <laughs> Come on. <gasps> Dave's going for a wee. <laughs> can you hear that? They're playing Titanic on the piano. Ooh, that's nice. Um, do you know what? I'm sure you're all really stressed watching this. Apparently the film started 23 minutes ago. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay. Moment of truth has it started. Booker. <laughs> so James Bond, No Time to Die. Did you I like loved it? it. I did. I don't think we missed much, did we? The, no, actually. He, well, he'd just woken up, so I mean, it must have been quite hard winning. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then the theme song came on, like, what, 10, 15 minutes into it? Yeah, so, like, so it was like... Oh, it, we must have just missed, like, the very first I think seconds. it was. It, it was the bit that you see in a lot of the promos um, to start. Yeah. So, yeah, basically, I don't think we missed um, much. I really, really enjoyed it. I really loved it. There's a lot of fan service to people who love sort of like the classic James Bond that they've sort of been going away from um, with Daniel Craig and I feel like they've sort of, it's it's been a payoff that's been, yeah, earned I think. So that's that was pretty cool. Obviously no spoilers, uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I did, it was so nice to be out and like at the cinema together. Yeah, absolutely. Our boys are with my mum so I want to go see them now. But... Can we just talk about this though? What kind of an animal can you see that? I don't even think you can. I'm right in the middle of the road, like. <laughs> but anyway, chewed the straw like an actual rabbit to the point where I couldn't even drink out of it. Does anyone else's partners do this? Straw chewing. Please let us know. I don't even realise I'm doing it. I know. I, I just don't know how you can like... even like drink out of it though. I, I had to open the lid halfway through the film. So then what's the point? I don't realise I'm doing it. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> if you're uh, wondering what's going on with the sofa, Barney lost his dummy, so we've been trying to find it.
Like a needle in a haystack. And not the one that he's got in either, so we still haven't actually found the one that we were looking for, but <laughs> luckily he brought a backup, so... We need them like in every room, every car, yeah. everywhere. We need to train Chip so that he... Uh... He can find them. Chip, you gonna help us? Yeah, I'll sniff it out. Ready to go home? Yeah. You've had such a lovely day, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. I think he'll be asleep in the car. Yeah, I think so. He's clumsy, so he's definitely tired. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Tell like you up. What is this? This is my new lip balm. It's what it is. Gone. Gone. You really don't care. <laughs> Poor old fox has lost his socks. He looks in a chest <laughs> to find <laughs> a vest. <laughs> there it is. On it goes, but I've got cold toes under the stair. <laughs> Go on, you do it. It's a shirt to wear. So good morning. <laughs> When um, we were at my mum's yesterday, my big sister Jess gave me some of my pregnancy stuff back and then more stuff of hers that she won't be using anymore. I hope that's new, a peri bottle. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm sure she wouldn't have given me a old one. Yeah, it's brand new. Chip, I promise there's nothing for you in here. <laughs> so while um, Bonnie and Chip are just buying this morning, I thought I'd go through it, um, see what I want to donate, what I want to put in the loft um, for, you know, baby number two, if we're lucky enough to have another little barnstormer. <laughs> um, I thought I would just mention it now as we're looking through this stuff but I mean we've got no immediate plans for a second baby but we would obviously really like one so um yeah this stuff will come in so useful quite a lot of this stuff is what I gave to Jess because I just didn't go through um a lot of my pregnancy stuff um she's given me things like the the mam like compresses these are really expensive so I mean it's so worth just going back and forth because she had um, Wilf and then I had Barney and then she had Penelope um, and then you know most likely it's going to be um, me next so um, yeah I just need to decide what I want to do with all of this stuff but I think most of it will probably um, go into the loft. I remember hearing loads about spritz for bits but I didn't really need it I went the my expert midwife stuff I went through the nipple oil like there was no tomorrow. It was like the only thing that really um, healed them because mine, mine were not in a good a good way. Um, <laughs> this is the peri prep um, to help, you know, not tear, which, you know, didn't do me any good. But I remember telling Dave about the peri, 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 whatever it's called. And I think he thought we were ordering Nando's when I told him what it was. <laughs> He was pretty disappointed. Oh, I love it. She's given me. Why doesn't she want this? It's just a grey jumper that says Mama in gold writing, but you don't need to be pregnant to wear that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me know if you remember this dress, but I wore it. It's just like a white stretchy t-shirt dress and I wore this for our Barney name reveal video in the woods it was such like a beautiful sunny day and we walked down to the woods um to film that um and that was actually the only time that i ever wore a dress and like got dressed up to go somewhere with my bump um because covid kind of hit when i was about 23 weeks i think um and i just started to get a bump um and then obviously i didn't do anything else for my pregnancy other than just stay home and then come here to this house so I do think when it's my time again I am gonna have a baby shower and maybe like a little holiday a baby moon and just go a little bit extra even do like a, um, a photo shoot because I couldn't even do that because everything had just completely shut down yeah I'm just I'm just really excited to 
pop all this in the loft for now but then hopefully when the time comes um be able to really enjoy it next time and just you know I just want to like see my friends and go for like a lunch with a bump and just be a pregnant person out in the world because <laughs> I'm the kind of person I see pregnant women and I just think they look so beautiful and I never got to experience being out pregnant <laughs> um once you know once I had a bump so yeah I'm I'm just really excited so yeah I'm going to carry on going through all this stuff um pop it in the loft and yeah we will see you in our next one thank you so much for watching this vlog we so appreciate you being here especially if you stayed until the end do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and we will see you in a few days um with a new one bye <laughs>